So we have an interesting junction to design here, which um, gives us a couple of challenges. It's a very angular design, and uh, at the bend point here, the road actually widens out, as shown on the layout here. Additionally, we have a junction coming in on the side with an angular widening rather than the standard curved um, curb turn. So let's go ahead and start designing this system. We'll add in a center line. I'll snap to the uh, onto the existing layout. Let's just take it from here. Snap to the points where it uh, bends, and snap again onto the other side of the indicated layout. We'll finish that. We'll uh, add some channels and footways to this. We can pick the width by snapping to the layout. And same for the footway. So we have a, a road designed in 3D. We can see I'll turn off the ground surface so we can see what we're designing. Now the first thing to note here is that the, the center line really shouldn't be left angular. It's much better to curve off the center line so that the leveling out towards the channel will be much uh, more engineered. So we'll, we'll put some uh, radii in here. Let's put a three meter radius there and here. Uh, next we'll add in these uh, widened channels here. So we go to our channel widening tool, select which channel to widen. Go to our widening option. Let's snap to the start. We want to widen from here to here. And then we want to widen from there back to any point on the channel. Apply that. And then we can do the same thing on the other side. Select this channel. I shall widen from some point on the indicated layout to that point there. And then another widening from that point again back to the indicated layout design and apply. So we now have the, uh, the road bend with the widened channels. We want to add on this side road as well. So we'll go and add in another road. Again, I'll, I'll snap onto some point on the indicated layout and uh, take it up to there. Add in my channels and footways. Again, I can pick those straight off the drawing snapping to the layout. Now it's detected that I probably want a junction here. So instead of the standard six meter radio, I'll put in some very small, say one meter radio. So this side of the junction is now correct. I want to have this side widened as shown. So again, use the widening tool, select this channel, I want to widen from this point using my snap to the end and I can extend this as with a construction line to find my intersection point for the end of that widening. Hit apply and there we have the finished design and um, we can have a look at our contours on that to see what sort of job we've done. Let's put some very tight contours in at 0.05 of a meter and then we can see what we've got. Thank you.